Oh my god. Let's into this. First thing we've cooked in the van. Even though it's a rock hard floor, it still feels quite padded. La, 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 la. Welcome to a new vlog. Uh, still before Christmas for us, obviously you guys have had Christmas uh, now, um, I want to show you a couple of things. First of all, Nick's been up already and um, got the pine cones, which we were doing on the last vlog, out of the fridge. And dusted. And dusted them with, uh, was it icing sugar? Snow. What is it? Icing sugar. So, there we go. We've yet to try one. Should this we try the, one for breakfast? Is, no, look at all the remnants on the plate. You can just yeah. scrape all that off and yeah, save all them. Should we have one for breakfast then? Yeah, with the fruit and wait, wait, coffee wait, and stuff. Just put one in half so people can see what they look like inside. Look well, while you're doing that, look at what? Oh yeah, the one that we got that went wrong. That went wrong. What the figure we're going to do with that? But the kids it's would not, love that. It's not set. Right, it's watch not this. set. Watch this. Shall we have the big one and share it? Or yeah. Or the little one? I want to keep some for My mum were really interested in these. She wanted to right. see us do them, but they had to go. So, you should have had the big one. Ready? Yeah. I want to keep some for when they get back. They're back in two days' time. Ooh, look at that. All right, hang on a minute. And I'm going to actually have it with breakfast, but we'll try it now. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, my God. That is nice. It's cabbage, because it's cabbage, it's like... Mmm. It's like eating a dairy milk with... Very the nice. Mmm. Look at the gooiness of the um, the brown at the bottom. It's very, very nice, that. I oh, must my say. God. You can't beat cabbage chocolate, apart from lint. But I do like yeah, cabbage. Lint, We've got a few festive bits to do today. It's absolutely wild wind outside at the moment. We have this to wrap. We have this to wrap. When we met our friend Sheila the other day, we were just fryer. talking about air fryers and stuff. She says, well, I ain't got an air fryer. So we thought, oh, great. Now we know what to get. So we ordered that on Amazon. It came yesterday. I'm going to wrap that up and we're going to drop that off to her. It's a single person, yeah. two person air fryer, but it's enough for like one person. From Amazon. Yeah. We'll put it on our Amazon store um, if you just want a, a little air fryer. So we're taking it down to see her today. And we'll also have to open it and set it up for her because yeah. she won't have to do it, so. Then we're off to Tesco just to get a few last bits and bats for Christmas dinner, parsnips and stuff like that. Get my coffee on you. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. And uh, then I, I still want to go somewhere and get some purple baubles. I've really got them in now. We want some Next purple year. baubles. No. Don't rush it. Get the right ones. Next year. We'll nip down to like Freeport maybe and see if anywhere there's got them. I've got to paint that box in the van. Right. Let's crack on with breakfast because it's all we've There's had a lazy a morning. Sign here. Because we've been getting up at seven each day and, and editing stuff, we thought we'd have a, an early, a late start. Oh. So I've already said it's ten egg clock in the morning. Ten egg clock. <laughs> what the frick? Ten o'clock. I was going to say ten a.m. It's ten a.m. We haven't even had breakfast. It's a very late start. Oh my god, that's not. Mm. Here, grab this because mm. I'm going to put my coffee on. So I am going to build with this which is an old, it's come out of a different van, it's not the one that's in our van. Um, I'm going to build a light out of spare um, LED strips, solder it into the clips here and here, and then wire that into the power supply in the ceiling on the van. And we'll give ourselves a light, because I'm not paying £200 for this entire unit, which is what it would cost to replace it. So I'm going to build my own. So um, that should be interesting. And hopefully today, our friend, who is doing the upholstery for us, Julie, said she should have the first cushion ready for me to go and have a look, see whether we're happy with how she's done it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we will be. So I'm sure we will be. She's very good. Right, we just set Sheila's present up. Let me get. We're going to test some uh, frozen some chips. Frozen chips. <laughs> it's nice, that, eh, for one person. I know, it's perfect. A little uh, towel one. Right, just, so in there, You've got a little rubber tray and it lets the air get underneath it, that's what cooks it better, and little rubber things. And put that in and then dump it wherever you're cooking on top. So just sprinkle a few chips on there. Set. That's on the tea. Yeah. And then you just shut the drawer up. Don't forget to plug it in. And plug it in. It matches all that, doesn't it? And then you set your temperature. So I always put it on maximum, 200. And then take your time. Well, we put it on 190. 
So eight minutes for frozen chips. Eight minutes, has it got a booklet? No. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, it's in yeah. there. Them chips turned out perfect. Um, oh, beautiful. They were delicious. We it took a little bit longer in that because the maximum temperature on it was 200 and I think ours is 240, isn't it? Sure. So it took a little bit longer to cook about you, sort of... You usually put ours on, out on 190. Yeah, uh, it defaults to 190, but when yeah. I'm cooking chips, put them a bit longer. Anyway, it took about 12 minutes, which is not bad for thick frozen chips. I'm craving chips now. I am actually. Um, we've just been to the Amazon locker and picked up the bedding for the van, we wanted the hotel style that we saw in the Airbnb in York. It feels okay, it was only 21 quid for this. The other at Dunham Mills was 40 just for the, the cover. So um, we can take the duvet out of the bag and get it on the bed in the van later on today. Get it all it's unwrapped and done. Down. Yeah, because it's really windy at the minute. Next job, we're gonna power stretch it because Lee balls. wants to get some purple balls. Um, and then we're gonna go to Tesco, we're gonna get some petrol and we're gonna get the final bits for Christmas day. A couple of people have messaged me about these boots, not Nick's shoes, they came from America. Um, they saw me putting boots on on uh, a Alex video it, and um, asked where I got them from. I got them from Skechers and the feel, they are boots like that, they look like boots. But the feel, like I've got a pair of trainers on Skechers, they're so comfortable. These are as well. 22, you got 22 dollars these in America. I think these were 60 quid from Skechers. Ooh, I've got three pairs of them. Oh, stuff like this would be perfect, Nick's happy, because we don't have to do all, there's no purples, it's all blues and silvers and reds. Um, wow, we couldn't resist this little nice coffee shop, um, having a sausage sandwich to share, and what's this you've got? Uh, Rhubarb crumble. Blackberry crumble. Blackberry crumble, and a nice flat white, before we uh, head to Tesco and do more chores. Right, we're back in the car, my god, it is Wind's gale swift. force wind. Lee's hair, more, Lee's, the rest of Lee's hair's almost blown away. Um, we're now gonna go to Tesco, get us bits and bats from there. We need to get some chives, some parsnips. Some petrol. Some petrol, some gin, some tonic. Um, what else? A whisk. Yeah, cause that whisk what we were using last night was rubbish. It's gone it bin. Right, last few bits. Let's go, shall I get some, oh no. We're gonna get some more, oh there they are. I'm gonna get some. Just to put in that... Um, Are you nuts? Yeah, I am nuts. <laughs> and they're beautiful really nuts. What? Yeah, I did get it. Did, right, it, did it go scan. through? No, it did. They are beautiful nuts, them. Bit of mash. Be like I've got frozen as a backup. Be a lot easier to do that for Christmas dinner, wouldn't it? Pop six of them in. Well, yeah, yeah seven. <laughs> right. Lee's having a... Um, 10 minute chill, he's meditating. I've decided to come in and I'm gonna paint this little control panel here. So that should take me about five minutes and then I'll be back in the lodge to uh, torment him. Um, what it looks like at the moment. Nice of you to join me. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Um, and I've been summoned with a pizza. So we need to test the oven because we haven't done that. These are the 60p ones that we took to the um, Look at this. hotel. Look into this. The need, flush. Some, <laughs> need some water in there but the toilet does work the electrics and One. I figured out how to take the cassette off as well. So at some point you're gonna have to sit on that. And have a crack. Give it a cry. Give it a try. Give it a cry. <laughs> yeah. So I have tried the oven so let me just um, put the pizza in here. Scissors again. Actually, I can get it off. Sure. sure. Yeah. Very neat and tidy in there. What's it looking like? That up, won't last. Up here. We drove the other day. Oh yes, a mess. Right. Pizza's in the oven. Let's turn it on. Is this is tea. Oops. Well, when you taste it, you won't want it. But... Full heat. We'll see what happens. Got the fan on while we're cooking the pizza, and we do believe it's ready. That's not taking long at all, is it? I went out for batteries, Lee's burnt the bleeding pizza. I am burnt, burnt it, I load it, it down. stinks of burning in here. So, here. how are you going to get it out? Have we got, have we got like a... There's a tea towel in here somewhere. I'll do it lodge. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well. A moment. You just have to use some. That's one thing we need, isn't it? Silicon yeah. thingy-majigs. Yeah, then just get it out with that. 
right, onto that plate. Now Nick says I won't want these, this. When you try it, there's no <laughs> flavour. I mean, I was drunk when I had it last, so... That's not bad, is it? Here, cut it in half. Oh, we've got a pizza cutter. Oh yeah, we've got one. Right, let me just put all this back in the oven. We might as well try it. Must remember not to put the uh, plates in because there's a plastic handle for that. In fact, we should take that out really and put it in the drawer, shouldn't we? Because oh, if yeah. we put the oven on with the dishes in, it's going to burn that. Now then. Are you there? That's it. It will go in. That's it, like that. Right, you put that in the kitchen drawer. Have you got enough friggin' things? How many bleeding things are you going to think you'll be cooking at once? In there? Enough to, to foresee every event. Ooh, that feels a bit cheap and rattly. Mm -hmm. That was from um, the boys and all, I think. The boys? The boys. First thing we've cooked in the van. That's another thing ticked off that we tried. And I try all delicious pizzas. I'm not expecting much, but I can see that it looks alright. Wait till you try it. Can you taste beer mats? No, I've never tasted a beer mat in my life. Well, that's what it tastes like. Well, I have 60 pence. 60 pence? I wouldn't even wet the door open with it. Then I'll have it all. It's my tea. I'll have half. Mm. Right, as part, as part of cleaning up the lodge ready for Christmas, we're going to put the bedding that we got today onto the duvet and the pillowcases that are in there. And then tomorrow we're going to actually make the bed in the van um, just to make sure everything fits and then we can tuck the fitted sheet in and things like that. So I need some help. Lee! And this arrived as well. This is for, this is what Lee wanted. <laughs> it took you twice as long to clean with that. Lee, oh, so good grips. Let me have a look at it. Perfect. Why don't you go and do van with it right now? Well, because I'm in and I've got my slacks on. No, got me. Right, we're going to get all this on here, yeah? Yeah. Right. thread Egyptian cotton. I can't believe how cheap this was compared to Dunham Milk and it's got that hotel look, that stripe. Yeah. 13 and a half tog quilt and two extra firm um, feels like down pillows. <sighs> Even though it's a rock hard floor it still feels quite padded. Good night, see you in the morning. Right, as usual let's tidy up. Cheeky gym for me. Cheeky tonic for me. Only tonic for Nick. Yep. And beans, beans to make us fat for teeth. I got the girls just a little stocking filler. It's like just something and nothing. Might even go in the uh, Christmas Eve box. Just an oh, she's collectible Harry Potter. Um, it's not the only thing we've bought. Oh no, it's not. Um, we're having some baked beans with sausages for um, teeth. We can say now we're on the wall what we got them, can't we? Um, they won't see it now. Well, unless it's just a little surprise uh, for Christmas Day. Yeah, but they're going to be surprised regardless. They're not going <laughs> to see Wait a minute. They're not going to see this vlog until I'm just going to put the toast in. This year we decided instead of getting the girls like a bag each of lots of things which they'd look at for five minutes and then get bored of. Paint. Paint a work top. We've got them a really big main present each. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it a surprise until Christmas Day for you guys as well. Um, so I remember when I got my first of this. They'll probably open. Oh, 
They'll probably open it and they'll be like, yeah, next, next. Yeah, they do. But then they'll use it every single day, I imagine. When we bought their, for the next 10 years. When we bought their Amazon Fire tablets, we never thought they would use them and you cannot get them off it now. Even now, like two years later. Yeah, they've learned off Uncle Nick. Um, so we are having beans on toast. Uh, we're watching a haul, well, Nick's just put a Hallmark cheesy Christmas film on. Um, tomorrow is going to be the big tidy up day, like it was when Stacey and Peter came, because the day after my folks are coming and the girls are coming, so we need to completely tidy that room out, which is an absolute junk style. Um, we need to put things into the van um, over Christmas, um, in the storage outside, in other bedrooms, and just basically tidy up. Welcome to the next day. Just editing yesterday's vlog, uh, Nick is in the kitchen. As usual. He is making bacon, oh, bacon sandwiches. sandwiches for breakfast. I've put the coffee on, it's all ready for you to pour. I don't want any. Ooh. Ooh, how ungrateful. Brown sauce? Yes, please. Right, let's eat. Today's job is to sort this room out because tomorrow the family arrive and uh, this is where they're sleeping. Well, my sister and the girl sleeping here. So, Got to get all this into the van. That's where it's staying this Christmas, uh, over Christmas. A few bits and bats for Christmas, which are obviously not going to fit into the van. But it's um, time to tidy this lot up. in this room was pretty easy that's just a bit vining that's the girls um christmas pajamas the grinch pajamas um that'll be put away tomorrow probably use that tonight gotta beat barry on my steps uh, although i'm nowhere near beating him um uh, but it's just all been plonked here um so this lot has got to go in the van just over christmas and some rubbish to take to the bins um and then we've got to decide what we're doing with it afterwards um, lots of it can be taken to the apartment and put in our storage. Uh, that's uh, like coin flooring for the back, but it's quite heavy, so we're we'll going to see whether we're even going to bother using that or not. Um, so that's the next job. First job then. They can fit that trim and go in bin the rest. If you're just storing it. Trim for like a um, skirting board. Skirting board. Right, I need you to hold that for me. And I need to measure it 84. Carefully, you're not scratching out with it. Yeah. There. 84. Come closer. I hate this tape measure. Might be the last mm. time you ever use that. No, well, I've got my one at the side. Mm. Well, I meant with this job that we're doing. Well, I'm going to buy one because it's been so useful. Yeah, but you might never need it again. I will. Nice yeah. and neat effect. Right, I just need to get the excess sealant off here. And I need you to find me the CT1 to stick it on with. Well, I'm going to love this little... Uh... This pan and brush set. Your little job. Five quid from Amazon or, or nine quid from uh, Dunelm. Yeah. Love it. Next little job, putting them around uh, in the bathroom. We've ordered the chemicals for the toilet, so very soon. Be here today. Oh, will they? Yeah. Very soon we'll be giving it a go. You can. Just back from a walk, getting the steps up. I'm up to... Come on, Fitbit. Wake up. 7,180. Um, Nick drove back from around there. We took some rubbish and stuff to the bins. I walked all the way around and since I got back, Nick has put 
some chicks in the air fryer because ever since we sent that up for our friend Sheila yesterday we've not been able to stop thinking about oven cooked chips in the air fryer. Mm. What are you doing now? I am building. This is the the um, alternate thing. I'm going to put a thing, the alternate cob, thing. Yeah, just that thing, light. I've put a cob strip on there on a piece of plastic. I'm going to tuck that under there and then I'm going to use a wax, uh, not a wax melt, one of those plastic glue sticks to glue it there. And then I'm going to wire that into there and then put it back into the ceiling and connect it to the light fitting. And then with that little switch there, we'll have the light. Perfect. Cooked to perfection. Yep. Beautiful. Right, we're just doing a Christmas quiz as a host of, oh, I've got to do a quack. What is the well-known song? Became first song ever broadcast from space in 1965. Ooh, jingle bells there. Oh, yeah, got it right. Uh, what does that mean? Bind a break. Oh, it's a break, right, okay. There we go, got up to number six. We're having a Christmas quiz. Monty the Penguin featuring John Lewis Marshall Christmas advert. What year? Oof. Oh, got it right. The lodge is very cosy. Nick's just in the um, van. He's doing the... Um, Chris from in there has been uh, doing some stuff. Gingerbread House were inspired by which fairy tale? Uh, Hansel and Grail. Which of these is not Santa's reindeer? Dope it. Oh, oh yes. Up at number one. How many drummers drummed? Um, uh, 11, I think. Oh, no, we're going to put 12 as well. Foreign City has donated huge Christmas tree to the people of Britain every year. It's not for some which uh, Stockholm. Mm. Well, there you go. It's saying I've come first out of thirty, but it can change over time. So we'll uh, we'll see after everybody's finished. Right, it's finished and the uh, results are in, and I went from first down to fifth. So uh, not a bad uh, score. And um, Nick didn't take part because he just blown some up in the van. Because I can't find the torch again. Right, now the quiz is over. Let's go see what he's moaning about. So we've got to what? Pull every fuse now and find out which one's gone. You should just stayed inside and done the quiz. Then you wouldn't have broken things. How many, how many is there? About 60. And I've got to pull them all with pliers because they're impossible to get your fingers in. So I don't even know what rating or or what? So we'll start with all five amps. We're having to Google about fuses now to see which one it might be because there, none of them have gone. So Nick's just said maybe it's blown a relay. What the frig's a relay? Fred knows. Brake light switch. The relays are the big square things that make things flash. The thing is that every single... There's, a, there's four fuse boxes that one's located under the driver's seat, but I can't work out which fuse box. Because this crappy website's just full of adverts. Right, we're giving up on that. It's just too cold and too dark out there. Um, Nick thinks he may have blown a relay, but we'll have to find out tomorrow. How do you find that out? I don't know. Um, so, we've just been repetitive and lazy today. And having more chips for tea. In 20 minutes we have our... Okay, not the eggs. Yeah, we've got oh, eggs. We're going to do an, an omelette tonight. We forgot to pick them up. Um, we're going to do a Christmas watch party. We are watching a free movie on YouTube called Christmas Comes Home. Christmas Comes Home. I picked it because it had a big guy. I think it's one of those Hallmark type things. I don't think uh, it's a Hallmark actually, but it's a similar, similar, similar one. company. Um, so the uh, lodge is all cosy for our Christmas uh, watch party. And um, then after that, we have a Zoom call with our patrons and YouTube members uh, who were involved in our Secret Santa this year. And we're going to open presents and see what we got. Um, so uh, I know Nick sent a couple of funny things to his and I sent a couple of funny ones to mine. So I'm hoping they're going to be on the Zoom call to open them. Um, so that's going to come after we've uh, watched our watch party. Protein yoghurt, protein puddings at the ready. And let's just have a look at those quality streets. Oh, wait a minute. So oh, I'm just going to start as a uh, watch go, party. Go, watch me drop these all over the place. And we're just having a quality street, which the Disney Wives actually brought a couple of weeks ago. We've only just opened them, which means obviously they'll be all gone by this time tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, fudge, you've already gone. They're all in paper now. Oh, no, they're not. They're not paper. Oh, no, they must be, they must be last year's. It's a mix, isn't it? I'm sure they're not last year's, it says made in paper wrappers. Well, that's nice foil. But then it comes in a big cardboard, uh, a big um, 
plastic box. Got to start somewhere. No, I suppose. Right, let's watch this film. Right, we're ready. Got myself a brandy pod, we've set up. We've got a couple of people in the uh, waiting room. We're ready for our, C our Zoom um, Secret Santa, which Nick failed to mention then. Yeah. We just watched that absolute... Brilliant crap. film. Uh, Christmas, Christmas Comes Christmas. Home, it was brilliant. Christmas it Go ticked Day. all the boxes. It had everything that Die Hard doesn't. So, I'm going to put my Christmas hat on for our Christmas... Uh, well, I'm, I'm festive in my pyjamas. You can see me there on the screen. Um, I'm going to have this little glass of wine. You know? Right then, I'll put my feet up and wait for everybody to join. Mm. La, 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 la. Ready? I, I caught that on the vlog. Here, so here's mm. one. Right, we're doing our um, yeah, what, secret Santa. Susan up here is going um, at the moment. She's opening uh, her parcel. I've got no idea. Oh, an apron. Is oh, it? she's making kit. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I don't know what this is going to be a funny apron, I presume. I don't know, but I'll open it. We'll have to put it on then. If it's a funny one. <laughs> oh my god! We can do. Yeah. Oh, that's clever. That's your Christmas right. dinner sorted. Right, I've got another parcel. Yeah, what? Quite a lot. Keep that in when you walk into the bedroom. We call in. Keep that on, I should say. All right, thanks. <laughs> nice Lee's turn. What's that? I don't know. Let's have a look. A gift from Secret Santa. Enjoy. It's like a little velvet bag. A little keyring, and it says, "Hang on, I'm in glasses on." What's that say? I'll have to read go. it for you, Nana. <laughs> yeah. It says, "Hold that." I think it says, "Let's go." Let me take it out of the bag. It's shiny. Hold on. It's got a little camper van on it. I want to show it to the camera. I'm get it out of the bag, wait a minute. <laughs> it says... Let's go, doesn't it? I can't read it. <laughs> hold it to camera. Let me hold it to light. All right, uh, I'll have to get my gigs on. All right, and then I've got under the big one. This one's some kind of bottle, because <laughs> I've been checking them. Hang on. We'll have it done by next Christmas, don't worry. Well. Oh, what's this? Oh, Malbec. Oh, a Malbec. A Malbec red wine, thank you very You've much. obviously mentioned you like Malbecs on vlogs. Thank you very much who that was. Shall I go, ne shall I go next? Well, go on then. Well wrapped. And it's been sent by somebody rather than through Amazon as well. Oh. Mm. Oh, I know what it is. What? It's, um, it's, an, it's one of those maps where you scratch off the places that you've been. Oh, wait a minute. There's a, another similar bag to what you've got there. Interesting. So you scratch off when you've been to a country. You know, like that yeah. camera and they had those maps where we you could do it put on, it in the van. But you, you scratch off when you go places. And let's have a look. Capital cities scratch Europe. Oh, yeah. There's a little... Um, Says yes, to Nick, I apologise. There is no large fal phallus that you wished for. Oh, <laughs> I guess that would on my wish list from last year. You can use a scratch map for your van road trip in Europe. Love your secret Santa. So you, you can even do like like Northern Ireland. You can like let me just try and scratch a little bit. Oh, that's oh, it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. I actually really like that. Right, something open. else in there. Hold on. Watch it be exactly the same. <laughs> Oh no, what's that? Oh, yes, another key ring. Keys to my f awesome van. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for that. And that's done. Um, right, let's have a proper look at this. can have a proper look at this, which somebody sent us. We still don't know who it was. Put it in the right light. So it's basically like a scratch card, but you scratch it off for each country that you visit. Yeah, let me just put my foot up top that. Line. So is this. Oh, yeah, so that's the country as well. That's the, the capital cities. So, Festival celebrations and sites. So what could we do in January? Just say if we were going across, going Sweden, for Sweden what? and Austria. Northern Lights in Sweden. Yeah. Uh, the Snow Festival and Ice Hotel in Sweden, and summer in and a hot air balloon week in Salzburg, Austria. 
I like that, that it's got um, things. Me too. I mean, I don't want to scratch. I want to scratch one off. No, you can scratch you the can whole scra- of the UK. No, no, you, can't, you can only scratch England off. Well, but this is what we're going to do in the van, so you can't scratch any off. Well, we're kind of going to go here from Hull across to Amsterdam and then go down through um, like kind of like Germany. Look how close Amsterdam is to us and I've never been. I know. It's like my bucket list. Down through Germany. We'll go into Switzerland, then into Austria, and then kind of back on herself and down Italy, back up the other side, all across here, down to Barcelona, straight across Portugal, and follow the back to Paris, and then back up to the mm. lodge. That's the plan. Where is Sweden? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't, well, Sweden they, another here. time, I would actually like to go up to Sweden. I'd love to go up there. Oh, yeah, that's a long drive. Well, only there. Yeah, that's the beginning of it. It goes right up here. Well, I don't mean that I want to do yeah, the whole Northern country. Yeah, are going to be up here, though. I like that, I love that. Welcome to the next day. Hold Morning! On. Put a hat on. Um, the family are arriving today. Um, they're currently packing, my sister will be packing for a month. So I'm retreating into the bedroom for Christmas. <laughs> uh, we must remember to have that chocolate rum. So, final few bits today. Nick's just um, seen a... Um, gravy. Gravy recipe that he thinks he's going to have a go at. Yeah. Because I'm instead of doing... Um, instead of doing chicken one, I'm going to do a beef one. But we're having turkey. Yeah, but you always. Well, yeah, but when we have Christmas dinner somewhere, we always have um, beef. Plus, you can't get turkey stock cubes anyway. I'm sure you can. Chicken stock cubes. What? Chicken stock cubes? Yeah, but I prefer beef. Beef got more flavour. So, you prefer beef on your Christmas dinner or, or turkey flavour gravy? Comment below. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Join us on the next vlog where um, it'll probably be Christmas Eve. And um, it's not Christmas Eve today, it's tomorrow. The, we are going to a pantomime with the Disney wives and my family. Never been to a pantomime before. None of us have ever been to a pantomime. Our life's a pantomime. He's behind you. That's the kind of thing that oh, we'll... Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> um, so we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye.